Welcome to Database Migration. Now, if you're like me, you've got an old Gmail account that you've been using for years, and you've now decided that you're gonna pay uh, for a professional Gmail service, and you're struggling to figure out how to actually import your email. I'm gonna flip into workshop mode. There's a couple of things, first of all, you need to do. You wanna make sure that you're logged in to both accounts, and also that you've set up uh, two-step verification on both accounts. So I'm just going to show you how to do that if you're not familiar. So under each account, you go into account and you'll see under security and in here you'll see that you've got two-step verification on. Um, if you're going to edit that, we'll set it up, it will ask you to do so, so that's good. And also I'm going to go into my new account and just make sure that I have two-step verification on and that under security on the left hand side and I come down here and it tells me that I'm on. Right so the first thing you're going to find is you're going to go into your existing email account which you're probably very familiar with and you go into your Gmail and now what you want to do is you want to go into the cog on the right hand side which is your settings and under these settings you'll see that you've got account and import and you think oh that's great because when I set up my new Gmail account I'll just use the same services. However, you're going to have a rude awakening because when you go into settings, see my settings, you'll see that account has just got account and you're going to think, how do I import all my old mail? So what you need to do is you need to go to your new account area. I lie. You need to go to the admin era area of your new account area. <laughs> oh, that's a mouthful. And you're going to go down to accounts and you've got database migration so you use this tool first thing it's going to ask you to do is to come up with a source so if you are using another email service you can actually import from all different types which is fantastic but i just want to import from my old gmail account so then you go start and it says when do you want to import from well, i'm going to go crazy because i don't even know if gmail existed back in 2000 but I'm going to go right back to 2000 uh, I'm going to go migrate deleted email and migrate junk mail I'm not going to do that and it's also asking me to exclude folders from my existing um, Gmail account so I'm going to go select users so now that basically locks in the service that I want and now what I want to do is go up to add users and it's going to ask you for the source email and I happen to have dheck Danny at gmail.com and now it's going to ask me to authorize that so because I've, I'm logged into my other account already it's easy if I'm not it'll be asking me to log in and I'll get confused I go allow and then it pops up this uh, unique code that you copy we go back to where we are we put the authorization code in here and that says what's the destination of the email. So my new email account is danny at dehec.com because I've set up my own domain name with uh, Google Workspace. And now I go start, start, not start. And what it will do, it will take as long as how much mail you've got now. I did one earlier for one of my customers and it actually took two days. And when all the email got imported to her Gmail account, Unfortunately, it imported them all on the same day. So I got onto G Gmail support, which you can do, and asked them what's going on. And they said, oh, it all depends whether the email has been, the headers have been dated correctly. It may just chuck them all into one mailbox. And I said, well, it's from Gmail to Gmail. So hopefully you have it right, guys. Anyway, unfortunately, they all did go into the same day which is a bit of a pain. So my recommendation would be to make sure that your email was pretty empty at the time um, because they'll just all come in like brand new emails, which is a bit of a pain. But if I flip through to my um, my regular, my new email account, um, you'll see I've got no emails in my inbox. So maybe that will work well for you if you do the same and, uh, and enjoy migrating your email please feel free to uh, leave a comment under this video if you have any problems that's how I learn on what you guys want and also if you are getting value from what I've just done please do subscribe to my channel I'm on a mission to get a thousand subscribers at the moment and I'm Danny DeHeck and I build workshops that help you survive and thrive in business so thanks for watching I'll see you in my next video